The art of not forcing is a way of living where desires naturally unfold without strain or struggle. Today, we will talk about how you can align yourself with your deepest desires and manifest them into reality, not by force or manipulation, but by allowing, trusting, and becoming. In a world that often encourages hustle, struggle, and force to get what we want, there is a different path, one that invites us to surrender to the flow, to align ourselves with the energy of our desires, and to trust in the process. The key to true manifestation lies not in how hard we try, but in how deeply we believe and how much we allow. Manifestation is not about forcing things into existence. Instead, it's about aligning your inner world with the reality you wish to experience. When you truly align with your desire, you no longer have to chase it. It naturally moves toward you. Everything is energy. Your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs, they all carry a vibrational frequency. When your vibration matches the frequency of your desired outcome, manifestation happens effortlessly. The key to effortless manifestation is to align your energy with the end result, not with the process of getting there. Think of it like tuning a radio. If you want to listen to a certain station, you don't force the radio to broadcast that station. You simply adjust the dial until you're in tune. Likewise, when you want to manifest something, you adjust your inner frequency to match that of the reality you desire. One of the most powerful techniques for manifesting effortlessly is living in the end. This means adopting the mindset and feelings of already having your desire, rather than focusing on the lack of it. When you act as though your wish is already fulfilled, you enter a state of certainty and belief. Living in the end isn't about pretending or lying to yourself. It's about experiencing the emotions and mindset of your future self. When you live as if your desire is already real, you send a clear message to the universe. This is who I am, and this is what I experience. In doing so, you collapse the time it takes for your desire to manifest. So, how would you feel if your desire was already yours? How would you think, act, and behave? Imagine the relief, the joy, the calm confidence. Embody that now. By living in the end, you bypass the obstacles of doubt and impatience. Manifestation isn't about obsessing over your desires or micromanaging how they come into being. In fact, one of the most important steps in effortless manifestation is letting go. Once you've aligned with your desire and lived in the end, the next step is to release attachment to the outcome. Letting go doesn't mean you stop wanting your desire. It means you stop worrying about how and when it will come. You let go of resistance, doubts, and control. Just like planting a seed, once you've done the work of planting, you trust that it will grow in its own time. There's no need to dig it up to see if it's working. When you let go, you create space for the universe to deliver. It's in this space of allowing that miracles unfold. The art of letting go is a deep trust that what you desire is already on its way, even if you can't yet see the evidence. Your beliefs about yourself and what you deserve are at the core of your ability to manifest. If you hold limiting beliefs about your worthiness or what's possible for you, no amount of effort will bring your desires to life. Manifestation is not just about what you want. It's about who you believe you are. Self-concept is the story you tell yourself about who you are and what you're capable of. If you want to manifest effortlessly, your self-concept must be aligned with your desire. You must see yourself as someone who naturally experiences the life you want. Affirmations, visualization, and inner dialogue are all tools to help reprogram your self-concept. Surrender is the final piece of the effortless manifestation puzzle. When you surrender, you allow the flow of life to carry you toward your desires. 
This doesn't mean you don't take action. It means you act from a place of alignment and trust rather than from fear or desperation. To surrender is to stop resisting the natural flow of life. It's trusting that the universe knows the best way to bring your desire to you. Oftentimes, when we try to force or control outcomes, we block the very thing we want. Surrender is an act of faith, a release of resistance, and a willingness to receive in ways we may not have anticipated. Now that we've explored the concepts of effortless manifestation, let's dive into some practical exercises you can use to align with your desires and allow them to manifest without force. Find a quiet space. Close your eyes and picture yourself already living your desired reality. Focus not just on the visuals, but also on the feelings. What emotions are present? How do you carry yourself in this new reality? Stay in this space for several minutes, immersing yourself fully. Affirmations are powerful tools to reprogram your mind. Repeat affirmations that affirm your self-concept and your desires as already fulfilled. For example, I am worthy of my dreams. Everything I desire comes to me effortlessly. Or I trust the process of life. Repeat these with conviction, morning and night. Write down any worries, doubts or fears you have about your manifestation. Then, in a symbolic act of release, either tear up the paper or burn it safely, releasing these concerns into the universe. As you do this, say, I let go and trust that my desires are already mine. Manifestation is an art of flow, trust, and alignment. When you stop forcing and start allowing, you open yourself to the infinite possibilities life has to offer. Remember, your desires are already waiting for you. Your job is simply to align with them, trust the process, and let them unfold in perfect timing. Trust believe and surrender, and watch how life transforms in magical ways.